TV host Toby Akin Bade recounts her coronavirus experience. The first part of her tweet read, I survived coronavirus, spent nearly two weeks indoors plus and in um, quarantine as my body fought it off. Yesterday, I took my first steps downstairs, um, headed straight to my garden, took a deep breath. Wasn't going to share this online, but I've been encouraged to share hope and good news and um, this is a good thing i think this is the second yeah. story i'm seeing as well yeah. um the lady that actually had to go into the um, um facilities by the government is not as bad as you yeah and i'm happy that people are surviving however yeah. we've recorded just two deaths right now two is not just but yeah, yeah. it's um, yeah i think for me particularly from this story was because before the coronavirus you know became this serious a lot of young people were like oh yeah. it's just like flu it's not going to affect us like that and she's just she's 28 and mm. she's healthy she doesn't have any Underlying medical anything. conditions yeah. and everything and when i read through the symptoms that she had and i was like i don't want this coronavirus mm -hmm. i do not want it because she could not breathe she could not walk she was mm. weak you know she highlighted so many things that she said that this was the most this was the most sick that she had ever felt. So I feel like a lot of people are still downplaying the seriousness of the coronavirus. They're like, hey, if it gets our immunity, we'll fight it. And I'm like, there are people that have died who did not have, you know, pre-existing yeah. medical no, conditions. It plays, it plays both sides, actually. There yeah. are people who their immunity um, can actually fight it and they've been fighting it. But which is why symptoms. you have the asymptomatic people, yeah. right? And there are people who would really come down. It, it happens for every kind of disease, actually. There are people who, when their malaria starts there, yeah, you're like, okay, this person is going to die and mm. all that. And there's someone who will have malaria and they know, they kind of can tell you, I'm not feeling very good, True. but they can still go about their, their yeah. daily activities. Yeah, so it's going to hit you. Yeah, you don't know where you fall. Yeah. So you have to be careful. Not, yeah. Because and, yeah. all the things that she highlighted, I was like, I do not want this. Yeah. And because I feel like that, I, I, more and more as time goes, I can understand why they call it a novel virus because there's something mischievous about it. Like yes. we don't know what it looks at anymore. We've seen a 102 year old lady get healed Survive. from that. We've seen a 73 year old with underlying issues get healed from that. We've seen 18 year old healthy child. We've seen a toddler getting um, killed from coronavirus. So it feels like it's one of those things where you just can't really be too sure. Yeah. I really, truly appreciate this lady yes. sharing this story. And the other lady, um, so the lady who the founded n to rape Yes, um, yeah. yes. yes uh, I really appreciate it. In our culture, we don't do that. We don't share things. You ask what you did to succeed, and they'll tell you it's the grace of God. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 but like, tell me more. Um, so it's it's definitely out of the culture to do that. Um, and she's rising above st the possible st Stigma, stigmatization yeah. that she could True. get going forward. Um, so it, it's a big kudos to her. The good I also thing like, she's negative now. Exactly. Yeah, she's negative now. Exactly. So I'm glad that, first of all, she's opening up to share such a horrible experience, but that there is also victory in that. And it's super encouraging for us. Yeah, we, we don't know where people will fall on the scale, but it's still really good news. Yeah. And I also mm -hmm. think it answers um, Victoria Inyama's questions. Mm -hmm. Why are we not hearing anything from the so-called oh, no. recovered her, patients? The other lady, the founder of n rape actually yeah. answered her question. Yeah, that's what I'm because saying. She gave you steps and what's going on. And, and what happens the, yeah, in the isolation so. center. The fact mm -hmm. that they even gave them good food and mm -hmm. everything. I was like that. Sure. When I read the lady stretch, the stand to end I was I had hope. I was yeah. like that, yes. But then she's actually a privileged person. She is. So you also have to know that let's not be, everybody might yeah. be entitled to that kind of yeah. care and all that. And I also wanted to say that um there was news that Prince Charles who tested positive is now negative. It's now negative. Yeah. Within a week. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are like... No, no, no. You know, they did not actually um, do the test early enough. Their, okay. their contact with whoever gave them the virus was around 10th of March or there about 9th okay. of March. So the, so the test was to... done late. So it's possible okay. as the asymptomatic person, he's been fighting it and hmm. so it's quite Because a lot of people were saying, <laughs> please, if there is a, hey. there is a vaccine mm -hmm. or if there is a drug for it, you should use this now. You should not just be the only privileged people. We don't, we don't yeah. have that information yet. So.